Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me for today's Lunch Learn. I'm Keith Armour. I'm the Education Homework Support Manager down here in the Adult Learning Center at the main library. Last week, we talked, uh, our lunch and learn was titled, I Bet You Didn't Know, and I talked about the new telescope program that we have. So we lend a telescope, really cool, really nice, big telescope you can have for 21 days. Um, you have to reserve it, but we talked about that. We talked about our passport service. At a few of our branches, we have that passport service where you can have a, a person that really has been trained to look over your application, make sure everything is right so you're good to go when you do a s start traveling again. And then, of course, everybody can be involved in um, reserving a PC, um, a public computer here at the library, at any of our branches. You can reserve a computer up to 24 hours before you come in, so you can always make sure that you have a computer. And then at 19 of our locations, we actually have what's called a laptop kiosk, talk about that. And you just put your library card in and then you get a laptop. You can go anywhere inside our library um, and um, be able to use the special software that's on there. And um, it just makes it a little bit more comfortable for you when you're in the library. And then of course I talked about special collections, a lot of digital special collections um, that are just a click away. And then I threw in that bonus with uh, about uh, our vinyl collection that we keep adding to it. And kids, if you don't know what a record is or vinyl, um, go and talk to someone that has gray hair or whatever this is. <laughs> um, go and ask them what a record is and they'll explain it. Um, but we do keep adding just a little bit more to that collection each year as well. So today's Lunch Learn is part two of Bet You Didn't Know. Now, I hope that some of you have heard about some of these. Um, and maybe you've heard about them, but you haven't used them for a while. And that's the reason why we're doing today's Lunch and Learn. I bet you didn't know part two. So let's go ahead and dive in, all right? Well, all right, you all should be seeing our wonderful website at cincinnatilibrary.org. And for this very first, I bet you didn't know part two, we're gonna scroll all the way down to the very bottom and right under about the library, we're going to keep going down until we get to this little item right here, CHPL Online Store. We're going to click that. And I bet you didn't know that you could buy different items um, that promote the library. And I, I know what you're thinking. Well, why in the world is the library doing this? Well, let's go over to the about section. And this tells you um, right here that every purchase helps support the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library. And this is the portion of the sales goes to our wonderful Library Foundation. And if you don't know about the Library Foundation's mission, they really are there to ensure that we continue to have a great library and um, they wanna make sure that they're enhancing programs, programs and initiatives, uh, that are for technology and for connecting the community and digital literacy and workforce development and of course supporting children and families as well. So if you want to find out more about the Library Foundation here, please feel free. But that's one of the reasons why we put the store together. Now, if I go back to the main page of the store, you'll notice that you have some timely items. You have a pride t-shirt. You've got uh, two beach towels that you can order. You've got the uh, neck gaiters. Now, right now, more and more people are not wearing masks. However, these are very good for when it gets cold. And remember, we live in the Ohio Valley and it will get cold probably, I don't know, next weekend. Um, so you can definitely get a neck gaiter there. And then there's some other designs of our t-shirts as well. Now, it's not just t-shirts, but I'm gonna go up here under men's and you've got t-shirts, you've got a lot of different kinds. You've got v-necks, you got tanks, you got uh, long sleeve t-shirts, you've got regular baseball performance. I'm gonna go to the regular long sleeve t-shirt. You'll notice here's some different designs. Here's a pride one, here's a astronaut one, here's the white logo, and here is the color logo. Let's click on the color logo. And you'll see that I have, uh, I can look at a real up-close picture of it. 
I can of course change this to a white t-shirt and there is the long sleeve in white or I could have Heather gray. Uh, comes in different sizes from small or all the way up to 2XL. And um, then there's also a baseball uh, tri-blend. If I click on that, you'll notice that there's some other choices here. So this is a uh, tri-Kelly sleeves. I think that's Kelly green. And then a uh, tri-blue. And then there's a gray. So there's a gray too. And so you can check that out. There's also sweatshirts and pullover hoodies and zip up hoodies. And then for the women, there's about the same thing. You've got some t-shirts, you've got some v-necks, um, you've got the scoop neck, and I did not realize what a scoop neck was, but here is one of the scoop necks. And then if you go to the dolman, um, that's a little different of a scoop neck. And then you of course have tanks, you have long sleeve t-shirts, sweatshirts, pullovers and zip up hoodies. And then under the kids section, there are some great things for, you've got the baby body suits right here. If you click right here, there's the baby body suits. So if you have a little girl and you're thinking, ah, my little girl's gonna become an astronaut, uh, this would be the perfect item. You click right there and you'll see that they even have it broken down. Here's a better picture of that logo. But there's the broken down by six months, 12 months, 18 months, and 24 months. And so these make great gifts if you're thinking about someone and you're like, oh, they really like books. Maybe I'll get them a library t-shirt. But a lot of different kid items. And then there's some accessories too. We've got those net gaiters. But we also have a latte cup right here. So you could have your favorite coffee. But then if you have to travel, there's a little travel mug as well for you. And going down, we have different kind of bags. Well, we only have one kind of bag right now, but if I click right here, we have different size bags. So you could have a, a smaller bag, 13 by 13, all the way up to an 18 by 18 bag. And if I go back up to accessories, there's notebooks and there's a notebook right there. And then you've got the zip pouches. There's a zip pouch. And then you have the beach towels again. You have two different designs. Now, if I click on this one, this is of course um, features our summer, our Discover Summer um, logo with our sons. But you'll notice there's also two different sizes for the beach towel. So maybe you want one for the kids and one for yourself. Um, so you've got 30 by 60 and a 36 by 72. And you just click here, you add it to your cart, and then it goes right to your house. All right. So I bet you didn't know that we had an online store and it's got all of these different types of items. Okay, so definitely check that out. And remember, a portion of these sales goes towards programs and initiatives at our library through the Library Foundation. All right, so let's go to the next one. And so I'm going to go back to the main page and we're going to go under um, books and media. And right here, we're going to go to book hookup. Now it says need a good book. We're glad you asked. Suggesting reading recommendations is one of our fa very favorite, not just favorite, very favorite things to do. In fact, we consider ourselves experts in the field. Just tell us a little bit about your reading interests and our staff will send you a list of three chosen books just for you, all right? So you'd fill out your name, everything with an asterisk, you would have to fill in. So you'd email, phone, your library card number. You can even choose where you're going to pick up the items, okay? And then you can choose, um, uh, you can. You need to tell us if you've done book up, uh, the book hookup before, because we might have something already on file and maybe have another list for you. Um, here is a, an important question. Um, once we find these items, do you want us to automatically put them on hold for you or do you want to place your holds yourself? So if you want us to automatically do it 
keep it right here. If you want to look at the email list that they send you of the three books and then decide that's what you want to do there. And then, of course, you can pick your favorite format. Um, I know I'm I'm doing a lot more uh, audiobooks, and so I'm really looking at those more than I'm looking at regular print books. I just can't seem to concentrate as much as I have before. And then, of course, this isn't just for adults. This is also for teens. Um, but there's some great teen books out there that you can definitely check out as well. So if you want to do both, you can do right there. And then you're going to tell us if you're interested in fiction or nonfiction or both. And then what type, uh, this is my favorite question on this whole form, it says what type of book are you in the mood for? And sometimes you're in the mood for a certain book. If you're heading to the beach or you're heading uh, to the backyard and you just want a summer read, you want to tell us right here. And then list three books or authors you've recently enjoyed. Um, that kind of gives a little bit of a more clue on the type of um, author or type book that you might be interested in. And then, of course, what did you enjoy most about those books? Where Was it the characters? Was it the time period? Um, was it the writing style? Was it the setting? You Just give us some more information so we can really make a good choice. And then you get to choose, and it says right here, check all that apply. What type of fiction books do you like to read? And I do not like to read romance books, but I definitely like to read classics and a cozy mystery. And um, I definitely, I mean, these are all fiction books up here. Legal thrillers, definitely. And then here's the non-fiction genres. And you can pick all that apply. And if you're not into non-fiction, well, then don't click anything, pick anything here. And then, of course, at the bottom, um, we just want to be very respectful for everyone. So if you have, um, if you're not comfortable with explicit um, violence or any kind of content, just make sure you click here for not comfortable. And we'll make sure we steer clear of that um, explicit content. You just hit submit. And then a few days later, you're going to get that list through the email um, and um, we'll hook you up with the good book. All right. So the next one I want to go to is under books and media as well. And I've talked about this bet you didn't know before, but I just want to remind you, we're going to go to hot tickets right here. And hot tickets is have your name automatically added to the holds list for forthcoming DVDs with box office sales over $10 million. And this is really great because when we add a new movie or a new documentary or a new TV series to our collection, then you can, well, it's movies here, not TV, sorry. But when we add that to our collection, you're going to automatically be on hold for that. So you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you get to choose where you want to pick up your items. Of course, we'll email you when it's ready, um, but you can pick any of these, or you could pick all of them. So if you like action adventure, if you like horror, if you like science fiction, if you like all of them, pick them. And then every time we have a very, very popular, that's popular in the general public, um, you can automatically be on hold for those items. It just makes it a little easier and it's kind of like a little surprise. Oh, that movie's in the collection? Oh, great, I'm already on hold for that item. So it can make a really nice time where you're, you know, thinking of what am I going to do? Oh, there's a movie that I've got on hold and then I was interested in, but didn't have a time to go to the movie, uh, the theater for it. So the other one under this is Hot Authors. And this is another one of my favorites that I signed up. We've had this service for a long time, um, but it's so great because you know, anytime one of these authors, and there's actually 97 authors down here that regularly write books, um, that have them out, and um, we want to make sure that we're always hooking you up with the right books, not just books that you might be interested in, but your favorite authors. And so this one is, 
you're going to choose what authors are your favorite. Now, of course, you have to log in and you're going to decide where you want to pick the item up. And then you're going to have your email so then you can make sure that you're getting your information about when the book is on your holds list and when it's available. And then this is a little key that you have. So for each one of these, okay, so like with Terry Brooks, you can see that, well, we've got right here, we've got regular print. We don't have large print. See, the magnifying glass is large print for Terry Brooks. And then we've got over here, we have an ebook format, and then we have an audio book, okay? So you can choose Terry, and then you can change it. If you don't really want the print book, and you want the e-audio, just click it, and all of a sudden it goes over there. And you can pick as many as you want. Like I said, there's 97 hot authors here. So then when that book has been released and it is in starting to get in our collection, then you're already on hold for it. I use this all the time, um, especially for like Stephen King, and also John Grisham. Uh, there's, there's my two favorites. And it's so nice to be already on hold for those books. So that's the other, I bet you didn't know, but I bet some of you have used this service, but you might have forgotten about it, all right? And then the last one that I wanna show you for bet you didn't know is right under the same thing. Uh, where did I find it? It was over here. Oh. It's right there under books and media, right over here, book club resources. If you click on book club resources, um, you want to apply for a library card for book clubs. And the card actually allows your book club organizers to request multiple copies of the same title. You can have up to three different titles and it automatically renews and no late fees as well. So to get an on, and then you can request the different items. Now you have to either visit a library or call us at 369-6900 to apply for that book club library card, okay? It's separate than your regular library card. And then here are some book clubs that are meeting online that you could go ahead and join, and there's some more events here. And then there's some staff picks for different book clubs as well. Some just some suggestions on some books that are really good um, to really kind of emphasize and really get good discussion. Um, I've really enjoyed my book club, um, especially during the pandemic and uh, meeting with people. Now we're starting to meet in person again too. We also have available book club kits. If you click right here, now to request a kit, you do have to have your library um, book club uh, library card to check these out. Um, but you can place them on hold now and wait until you get your um, book club library card. But there are actually 57 kits here. And each one of the kits gives you a copy of the book and some questions. And it contains a tote bag and five copies of a recent book club favorite. Okay, and these are ones that you could pretty much find information on different kind of questions online as well. Now, I'm running out of time, but I do want to give you two other bonus, um, bet you didn't know, uh, or bet you just need to be reminded. Under services, there is meeting rooms and study rooms. All of our meeting rooms and study rooms are now open again. So if you go under services and you click under uh, book a meeting room or study room, you want to look at your the closest location and you can see like with Anderson, um, they're really blessed with having a big a library and they have a big meeting room with a capacity of 43, but they also have some study rooms as well that could fit one to five people in. Um, our, our newest uh, redo over at Price Hill has a meeting room capacity up to 86 in their meeting room. And then they have uh, several different study rooms that go from four to 10. Um, so you can check that out. Now, you, you don't wanna click on here. Now, if you click on Anderson, this is gonna tell you the basic information 
about when they're open, where they're located. But what you want to do to reserve a room, you want to come up here to the reservation online system. You click here. And it's going to show you Anderson, but it's also going to show you all of the other branches as well. OK, and then you can change the date. So let's change the date. We can do it by week and see this is Monday through the 7th this week. And there's Thursday through the 10th. So you can change and you can see what is booked and how your booking is. Your booking would be the yellow part. And then there's sometimes it's unavailable. So definitely check that out. And then the last bonus I want to tell you, we're going to go all the way back down to the very bottom. And we've got CHPL online store. I already told you that, but I thought I'd show you one more time. But right up from that is working at the library. And if you've ever thought about working at the library, I'm telling you, the library is a great place to work. I'm going on my 13th year. Yeah, my 13th year at the library. I love it. A great group of people. I work with a great group of people in my department. But everyone in the library is just, it's a great place to work, especially if you like um, books and media and serving the public. It's a great place to work. And um, please note a resume is required when applying for a position. So if you don't have a resume, come to the Adult Learning Center. We'll help you with a resume. And um, you can click right here on current openings. You can look at our benefits. And you can also just volunteer at the library too. So check that out. But current openings right here. And you'll notice that each one of these are some current openings. And all you have to do, like for Avondale, let's click there. They have one position and it's the monitor mentor at Avondale. And it will show you, sorry, kind of bounced on me. It'll show you, it'll give you the summary of what the job is and then breaks it down with duties and then the qualifications. And it does say job location, just Cincinnati, Ohio, but it really is for the Avondale branch, okay? And then you've got um, the position type is part-time and then the education requirements. And then of course, um, the possible hours for this position. And then of course the salary, and then you click apply for this position. But you do need to have a resume for that as well, okay? So that's the last bet you didn't know. And I, I really would like you to apply. Uh, if you're ever interested in a good part-time job or a full-time job, check out our postings right here on um, right here on our website, and you can check out the different positions. And it changes a lot um, because we have a lot of different openings. Um, that we'd really like to fill and so we can better serve the public. Now, I want to um, share a couple of things before I click out real quick. Um, tonight, we are going to have a wonderful program on uh, Southwest Ohio bluegrass music. And I'm telling you, Brian Powers is a phenomenal reference librarian in the popular library department. He knows so much about music. It is unbelievable. Um, he really helped redo the Oscar Treadwell. He actually really worked really well on the Oscar Treadwell collection, which is a jazz collection, but he knows so much about King Records and all sorts of different things. But he's actually doing a program tonight at eight o'clock and um, it will be live on Facebook live tonight at, at eight. However, I will say that we will add that program to our YouTube channel so you can check that out. Um, but here's some books on that information. And then you can revisit some lecture series and watch some other things as well for the bluegrass uh, of Southwest Ohio. The last thing I want to point out is some other events um, coming up. We still have some drop in programs. We've got some iSpy. We've got Intro to Robotics over at Price Hill. Um, that's for kids. Uh, we've got, ooh, Stomp Rockets. I like Stomp Rockets. Those are kind of fun. We've got a virtual event, and we're going to continue to do some virtual events because it makes everything convenient for people. And that is this Saturday from 2 to 3, and that's uh, Introduction to Meditation. 
And a lot of people think I need to have a little meditation once in a while. And I think it's very important to kind of breathe and take my time with certain things. And then we're going to have another plant swap down here at the main library. And that's this Saturday from two to four. So I'm going to click out. Uh, and so and tell you a few more things. All right. All right. That was uh, today's Lunch and Learn. Bet you didn't know part two. Talked about the library store. If you want to order a beach towel or any great swag with our new logo, uh, definitely check that out. And then, of course, uh, book hookup. All, always one of my favorites because if you've had an author that hasn't written a book for a long time, but you kind of want to read something in that kind of style or that kind of voice, the librarians here will be, they're wonderful about finding a book and hooking you up with the right book. So definitely check that out. And then of course, hot authors and hot tickets um, where you're automatically put on the holds list for those new items that are coming into our library collection. So you'll never be uh, amiss when a, a new book by your favorite author has been in our collection, you're automatically on that list. And of course, I talked about all of the supplies we have for book club. If you are envious of those people that were doing book club during the pandemic through Zoom and through other other means, uh, you could start your own book club right in the back of the backyard. We have all the supplies for you for that. And of course, I threw in the bonus um, about our meeting rooms and our study rooms. Definitely reserve those. And then, of course, if you've ever thought about working at the public library. Um, I, I showed you that one as well as a bonus. Now, I do want to point out this. This is a heavy box, but this is the box that with UMC, we partner with, and at 26 of our locations uh, on Mondays from 3 until 5, we provide food and snacks for kids. So you've got cereal, you've got uh, beef stew, you've got chicken salad, you've got fruit, you've got applesauce, you've got raisins, you've got juice, you do, you do have some Doritos, and of course you have some milk in here as well, but just during the month of June, and we're now into July, but just the month of June, we have, in our 26 locations, have served 50,554 students. Um, to make sure that they are provided meals during the summer. And I'm going to box this up and put it back in the pile here at the main library because we do distribute here at the main library. And also, uh, before I go, don't forget tonight is um, a really great night for Facebook Live again with our Southwest Ohio Bluegrass Heritage. Uh, Brian Powers is going to conduct a great program. And then later on, it will be also uploaded onto our YouTube channel. So if you can't make it tonight at 8 on Facebook Live, you can check it out on our YouTube channel. And then uh, Price Hill uh, for kids, um, Intro to Robotics, that's on Saturday. And then there's a virtual um, event. We're going to continue to do some virtual events. And that's Introduction to Meditation. That's from 2 to 3 on Saturday. And then they're having a great another plant swap down here at the main library uh, from two to four on Saturday as well. All right. So have a wonderful rest of the week and enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you next week for Lunch and Learn. Thanks. Have a good day.